Hola. Today our class is about the imperfect tense. El tiempo imperfecto. The imperfect is another form of the simple past tense in Spanish. The Spanish imperfect has three common English equivalents. The simple past, the past progressive, and the used to plus infinitive construction. For example, the sentence Rosario trabaja en la tienda. It could have three different meanings. It could mean Rosario worked at the store, Rosario was working at the store, or Rosario used to work at the store. Before going through the uses of the imperfect, let's start with the conjugation of AR verb in the imperfect form. Just as with other tenses, we always start with the stem of the verb. For example, hablar, you drop the AR and then you have the stem. Then you're going to add the endings. Yo hablaba, tú hablabas, él hablaba, ella hablaba, o usted hablaba, nosotros hablábamos. Make sure you put an accent mark in nosotros form. Vosotros hablabais, ellos, ellas hablaban, ustedes hablaban. Again, notice the written accent mark only on the nosotros form. There are no irregular AR verbs in the imperfect. That's good news for us. Now let's see ER verbs. For example, the verb comer. So you start with a stem and you go. Yo comía with an accent mark. Tú comías. Él o ella comía. Usted comía. Nosotros comíamos. Vosotros comíais. Ellos, ellas comían. Ustedes comían. Now, what do we see here? All the forms receive an accent mark. All of them. All forms. And the accent marks go over the I. Okay? The conjugation of I are verbs in the imperfect. Escribir. To write. Start with a stem. Yo escribía. Tú escribías. Él, ella escribía. Usted escribía. Nosotros escribíamos. Vosotros escribíais. Ellos, ellas escribían. Ustedes escribían. All forms have a written accent over the I. Now, what did you notice? Well, the conjugation of IR verbs is identical that of ER verbs. So that's good for us. There are only three irregular verbs in the imperfect. And they are the verb ser. So you're going to say yo era. Tú eras, él o ella era, usted era, nosotros éramos, with an accent mark, vosotros erais, ellos, ellas eran, ustedes eran. Again, accent mark, only in the nosotros form. The second irregular verb is the verb ir. Yo iba, tú ibas, él, ella iba. Usted iba, nosotros íbamos, vosotros ibais, ellos, ellas iban, ustedes iban. Again, accent mark over the nosotros form. And the last irregular verb in the imperfect is the verb ver, to see. Yo veía, tú veías, él o ella veía, usted veía. Nosotros veíamos, vosotros veíais, ellos, ellas veían, ustedes veían. All forms have a written accent mark over the I. Now let's go back to the use of the imperfect and try to understand the imperfect. The imperfect is always used to express age and time of the day in the past. This is a set stone rule. 
So remember, every time you talk about age in the past tense or time of the day in the past tense, you need to use the imperfect. For example, I was 15 years old when I learned to drive. So since I'm talking about my age in the past, I had to use the imperfect. Yo tenía 15 años cuando aprendí a manejar. Now I'm talking about time. Remember, time of the day? It was 10 o'clock when the train arrived at the station. Eran las 10 cuando el tren llegó a la estación. Another use of the imperfect. While the preterite tense is used to describe actions viewed as completed, the imperfect is used to, first, express that which happened habitually. Express ongoing actions and states in the past without reference to the beginning or ending. Express mental, physical, and emotional states in the past. Describe scenarios and situations in the past. Express indirect statements. You don't need to worry. Today we're going to see only the first three uses of the imperfect to express time, in age in the past, and also how to express habits in the past. Later on, we're going to see in a different video the other uses of the imperfect. So now let's see how to express habits in the past using the imperfect. Here we go. Well, when in English, when you express something that was a habit in the past, you generally use I used to do something or I you do something in the past. Okay, so this is one of the classic uses of the imperfect to describe, for instance, our childhood habits and activities. Cuando era niño, when I was a child, yo siempre estudiaba solo en mi cuarto. So here I, when I was a child, here you're talking about age, so you have to use the imperfect. I always studied or used to study alone in my room. So since you're using like what you used to do in the past, like a habit, you're going to use this part of the sentence also in the imperfect. Cuando yo era niño, yo jugaba con mis amiguitos todos los días. Cuando yo era niño, Comía cereal cada mañana. Leía libros de cuentos todo el tiempo. Iba todos los veranos a Disneylandia con mis padres. So all these examples we've seen so far, they are expressing something you used to do in the past. It was a habit in the past. Therefore, we need to use the imperfect. Of course, the imperfect is not limited to discussing childhood activities. Any habitual activities are expressed in the imperfect. Pedro comía en ese restaurante todos los sábados. So, probably he doesn't do that anymore, but he used to do that. Ana iba de compras todo el tiempo. It's something that she used to do, but maybe now she doesn't more. Now, hopefully you have observed that when we express something we used to do in the past, we are going to use certain words. So they can be like a clue for you, like every day, todos los días, siempre, always, nunca, never, cada, por ejemplo, cada mañana, every morning, cada tarde, cada semana. So all these adverbs of frequency give you a clue that you used to do something in the past. They are a habit, so you need to use the imperfect. Well, that's it for today. Our main goals are that you learn the form of the imperfect and at least three uses of it. Number one, to express age in the past. Number two, to express time in the past. Number three, to express habitual actions like used to and would to. Stay tuned because we have a second video about the imperfect, imperfect part two. Review this video if you need. Adios.